So the backlash continues. Bud Light. It has been in the news for multiple weeks now. I've talked about it on air on my YouTube channel at length. I thought it would have died down by now. But as I talked about in one of my YouTube videos, Sal Alinsky's rules for radicals. Pick a problem, target it, isolate it, and destroy it. That's paraphrasing. It's a, it's a different phraseology, whatever. But that is what we are doing. According to the, in an article from yesterday from the Daily Wire, Actually, could it be today? Yes, it's yesterday. From country stars to restaurant chains, the Bud Light backlash isn't slowing down. Anheuser-Busch is still facing backlash and boycotts weeks after the company teamed up with controversial transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney uh, to advertise its Bud Light products. The owner of a Florida seafood restaurant chain announced uh, Thursday, a few days ago, that he was removing Bud and Bud Light products from his establishment following the controversial sponsorship. He said, quote, I am disgusted by what you have done and what you are doing. Grill Seafood Deck and Tiki Bar owner Joe Penovich wrote in an open letter to the corporation via Facebook. Fox Business first reported this Friday, you are the one causing this division and anger in our society. You are responsible for making some of the gay community think grills do not or grills does not welcome them. And you knew exactly what you were doing when you launched this campaign. How could you not? Good old boy beer meets Dylan Mulvaney. Hmm. Let's see what that does to the country. Nobody is that stupid. This goes way beyond transgenderism. It does, absolutely. Critics of the Anheuser-Busch's team have voiced outrage over what they view as the corporations participating in the erasure and mockery of women. That's exactly what this is. And this article points it out, is that this is the erasure and mockery of women. That's why it's something that we are continuously talking about. That's why it's something that has been in the media for almost a month now, is because this is about the erasure and mockery of women. And it's being perpetrated by a company that once told us they were for more conservative values. Mulvaney, a male, has claimed over the past year that he's a, quote, girl documentary, his journey online. Penovich's decision, this is the restaurant owner, to remove the beer from his restaurant is part of a larger trend of Bud Light boycotts, largely from consumers, as the Daily Wire highlighted early th earlier this month. Jeff Fitter, owner of Case and Bucks, a restaurant and sports bar in Barnhart, Missouri, said Bud Light drinkers have started swapping out their beer orders for other brands in protest. The backlash has hit the country music industry, too. Country singer, as I covered last week on the uh, on the show, country singer uh, Riley Green has met with was met with applause at a Nashville show last weekend when he changed the lyrics referring to Bud Light to Coors Light in his song. I wish grandpa's never died. Country singer Brantley Gilbert, this is one I didn't get to in my show last week, also made his feelings about Bud Light known when he was thrown a Bud Light can onto stage, grabbed it, and chucked it onto the ground. When he said an expletive, he said, yeah, F that. You guys probably know what I'm saying. Can't say it on the radio. Yeah, F that. The country star said after taking a look at a Bud Light can and then smashing it, Gilbert was tossed a different beer, and he looked at it approvingly that was not Bud Light. He looked at it approvingly and tossed it to one of his bandmates to shotgun. Which, if you guys don't know what shotgunning is, I don't know if everybody is is hip and cool with uh, with the alcoholic terms. Uh, but it's basically when you put a hole at the bottom of the drink, you open it up and you chug it from the side of the can. Makes it so it can go down your gullet a little bit faster if that's what you're into. Uh, country singers John Rich and Travis Tritt also joined the Bud Light boycott uh, in saying, "What beer should my bar?" in Nashville replaced Bud Light with. That's what Rich tweeted earlier this month. Uh, I will be deleting all Anheuser-Busch from my tour, Hospitality Rider, which is what Travis Tritt said. Um, this keeps going and going and going. There are so many people that have joined this train of being anti-Bud Light, and it's perfect. It's exactly what we should be doing. This is a peaceful protest. I've seen memes. They're amazing. I'll pull them up on my YouTube live stream when I can uh, during the next break. But it's the Boston Tea Party. It is, it is like the Boston Tea Party for, um, for conservatives now. This is our way of saying we will not put up with the woke BS that companies are perpetrating. And this is, again, the democratic decision to not, per, or to not uh, help these companies or not support these companies when they defy our values. And they defy what we are here for and what we, or what we fight for. Again, this is larger than just a beer company 
supporting transgenderism, LGBTQ, whatever. This is larger than that. This is about the erasure of women. And again, I've said it on my show. I've said it on my show multiple times. We cannot allow people to wear the female gender, an entire gender, as a costume. That is cultural appropriation. That is culturally appropriating the female gender. I'm finally mad about it, everybody. Mark it as today. I was today years old when I realized cultural appropriation was awful. True cultural appropriation. And that is when, and that this instance of cultural appropriation is when we have legitimate men, real men, wearing the female gender as a costume. Put it on a bumper sticker. Slap it on your car. My gender, not my gender. I'm a man. I will admit it. But but for all the ladies out there, my gender is not a costume. Scream it from the rooftops. My gender is not a costume. 